You work way too hard for something as simple as travel, whether that be business or pleasure, to derail and have you shit on your own progress. What's good, Meathead? Just got back late last night from Toronto, which is where I was for the past week, learning from some of the fitness industry's brightest minds. I'll pass on some of the things I've learned about in later videos, but today, I wanna do something different. Today I wanna to share with you some of the things that I do whenever I'm traveling, whether that be on business or for pleasure, that allow me to kind of stay on that gains train. Look, you work your ass off day in, day out so on a consistent basis. You work way too hard for something as simple as travel, whether that be business or pleasure, to derail and have you shit on your own progress. So, what I wanna do for you today is simply give you the seven rules that I use to help keep the gains train on the track while you no longer have home field advantage. The first rule is the most important rule. It's a mindset shift. Whenever you're traveling on business or vacationing, you need to acknowledge the fact that the progress you seek is simply maintaining the progress that you've already made. Second rule I follow is to use intermittent fasting. Doing this to where I skip breakfast daily and have lunch as my first meal of the day allows for a natural elevation and growth hormone that allows for me to burn fat while maintaining muscle. Rule number three, get your training out of the way immediately upon waking up. Not only will this allow you to completely free up your day, but it allows for you to take full advantage of the extreme elevations in human growth hormone level, which allow for you to burn more fat and maintain that muscle. Rule number four, wherever you're going, do your best to walk there. Not only does this help you get that aerobic work in for greater fat loss, but it also allows for you to actually experience the city that you're visiting. Rule number five, face the facts you're going to cheat with your diet. The trick is to do it responsibly. Instead of having every meal be a cheat meal, make sure that you only have one full-blown cheat meal per day. Rule six, manage your alcohol consumption responsibly. I'm not telling you to cut it out, that's impractical. I'm just saying, don't get white girl wasted every single night. When you do this, you make bad food choices and your anabolic hormone secretion sinks. And rule number seven, when you get back home, get right back in the saddle and start tending to your goals via proper diet and exercise like you're used to as quickly as possible. There you have it. Those are the seven rules that I follow and I get all of my clients to follow as well when traveling. If you feel like I left something out that is of particular value that I could start implementing with great success, please don't keep it to yourself. Share it with everyone else by leaving it in the comment section below.